Hello, nice to meet you. My name is JJ. Can you please tell me your full name? Okay, what can I call you? All right, so in this first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some general questions about yourself. So let's first of all talk about where you live. What kind of housing or accommodation do you live in? Okay, and what's the difference between where you're living now and where you had lived in the past? Okay, and what do you dislike about your house? All right, and now let's talk about library. So do you often go to library? Um, what do you usually do in the library? Did you go to library when you were a kid? All right, and do kids in your country often go to the library? Okay, so now we're going to move on to the public transportation. So what kind of public transportation do you often take?
All right, then when do you usually take public transportation? In your everyday life or when you're traveling? Okay, and do most people prefer public transportation in your country? All right, so now we are going to move on to the second part of the test. And in this part, I'm going to give you a topic and I would like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. But before you talk, you will have one minute to prepare and think about what you're going to say. And you can make notes if you wish. Okay, so the cue card question is, describe something you had to share with others. Now you have one minute to prepare. Okay, so can you start speaking now, please? All right, so now we're going to move on to the last part of this test, 
And here I'm going to ask you more general questions about sharing. So uh, the first question is, do you think kids like to share? Why or why not? Okay, then how can parents can teach their children to share? All right, and what do you think is the benefits of sharing for children? Okay, and the last question, is there anything that parents should persuade children to share with others? All right, so the test is over. Good job, guys. And if you had a hard time answering some of these questions, don't worry. Now I'm going to show you my band score eight answers to all these questions. What kind of housing or accommodation do you live in? Well, I live in a three bedroom apartment with my family. Um, I've been living there for about eight years now. Well, the house is not that big, but it's the perfect size for the three of us to live comfortably in. What's the difference between where you're living now and where you have lived in the past? Um, well, there's not much difference between the two, except for one thing that's changed a lot, my room. Well, I bought lots of new furniture, including a king size bed and a comfy chair, plus, it has a large window that lets in abundant natural light. What do you dislike about your house? Well, I'm quite satisfied with where I live, but just one thing that I'm not really happy about is that it has a small kitchen. Well, not that it is that much small, but 
It has limited counter space, which is quite inconvenient when I'm cooking. Do you often go to the library? Um, not very often. I go to the library just occasionally. I used to go there quite often, like more than twice a week. But nowadays, I'm so busy, like 24-7. So it's almost impossible to go there that often. What do you usually do in the library? In the library, um, I usually study for IELTS or read a book. Well, I love spending time in the library with its quiet and peaceful vibe. Um, there is my go-to library, which is in downtown. It is very spacious, and they gave the inside a full makeover recently. So now the inside is very modern and vivid. Did you go to the library when you were a kid? Um, of course, I went to the library when I was a child. I loved to go there with my family. Well, all of my family members were very keen on going to the library and reading books. So we often went there on weekends all together. Do kids in your country often go to the library? Um, yes, I've noticed that kids in Korea often go to the library. Um, there are many libraries located in residential areas in Korea. Um, in fact, there is one within walking distance from where I live. And whenever I go there, I could see a lot of children reading books or taking some classes that the library offers. What kind of public transportation do you usually take? Well, I actually use all kinds of public transportation, but I think I take buses more often. I just don't like all the stairs in the subway. So if I have a choice, I always opt for the bus. When do you usually take public transportation? In your everyday life or when you're traveling? Um, I take public transportation to commute every day. Um, as I said, I take buses most often, but when it's rush hour, I do take the subway because I hate being stuck in traffic. Do most people prefer public transportation in your country? Well, it's hard to say since everyone has different preferences, you know? But um, as far as I'm concerned, people in Korea, especially those who live in big cities, prefer public transportation because you know, there are often lots of traffic jams. Describe something you had to share with others. Um, okay, I would love to talk about my beautiful guitar that I've been sharing with my brother. So this takes place when I turned 18. At the time, I was really into old acoustic guitar songs. So my parents got me a guitar as a surprise birthday gift. Well, it was such a delightful surprise and the guitar was gorgeous with a dark brown body and a shiny gold headstock. It was both unique and beautiful at the same time. Well, since then, I've practiced playing guitar on a regular basis. It's definitely one of my favorite things to do when I have some spare time. And my brother, I mean my younger brother, just recently started learning to play guitar. Well, he has his own guitar, but likes to play mine. So yeah, I just let him play it. Also, I've been teaching him how to play the guitar every weekend. Um, I teach him everything from basic tuning methods to, you know, how to read sheet music. And, you know, he follows along very well. He has quite a bit of talent and, you know, enjoys it a lot. So yeah, I feel happy to teach him. Well, so while we are kind of sharing my guitar at the moment, his birthday is coming soon, and I'm thinking of getting him a new guitar. Do you think kids like to share? Why? Um, it really depends on the child and their personality. In my view, some kids may naturally enjoy sharing, while others may not. So some children may share because they want to be kind and 
you know, make friends. For example, uh, my nephew shares his chocolate only when he wants to make friends. How can parents teach their children to share? Well, children learn from what they see, so parents should show them how to share things like toys, food, and all. Um, they also need to have open conversation, talking about the um, importance of sharing. Well, for example, my aunt shows her daughter how she shares vegetables from her garden all the time. So her daughter also likes to share her candies with others. What do you think is the benefit of sharing for children? Well, um, there are a number of benefits of sharing for children. You know, sharing can help children develop empathy, uh, compassion, and other social and emotional skills. It can also improve their relationships with others, which can be important for future success in school, work, and other areas of life. Is there anything that parents should persuade children to share with others? Well, the way I say it is that it is very important for parents to teach children to share with those in need, um, such as volunteering at the hospital or helping the elderly lady with groceries. This can help them to develop a sense of empathy, um, but also build positive relationships with others. Well, my friend, for example, is always willing to give a hand to the needy and think of others before himself. So he has good relationships with others at work, um, school, I mean, anywhere.